Right, we're going to take advantage of the fine weather out there today. Might be one of the last weekends we get some nice weather. Uh, we're going to take these two red ears out to a local uh, beauty spot and I'm going to drive off into the distance and we're going to compare them against some PMR radios. Right, this is the uh, connection if you've not seen the other video. Just a uh, lead from the out antenna output into the power meter then into a dummy load on the back. Okay, so let's just see what they're doing on batteries. Turn this one on. Give this a go. Okay, so that's over a watt, that's nearly a watt and a half. Okay, on batteries, so that's pretty good. Those Dura cells are working better than the other cells. So we'll check the other radio. Right into the other one. It's the battery test light. It's good, that's what we like to see. And let's give this one a go. Yeah, so that's slightly less. You can see the difference it makes when I touch those conductive side panels and I give them a squeeze. See how that affects the power output? Interesting. Right, so the only Wiz um, has got a fixed antenna. And we'll just do a quick field strength test uh, between this and the PMR radio I'm going to use. Uh, just to see the difference in field strength from at this distance. Um, so let's key up on the only Wiz. And there's your field strength, and there's your frequency in the middle. And then we'll just swap that for the uh, PMR radio we're going to use, the little Retivis, and we'll see what difference that makes. Right, the little Retivis here, the 615. As you'd expect. I'd say them two are actually not far off on power with regards to, uh, the, if you look at the tiny little antenna, so I don't think there's a lot more because let's put a UV5R down on 5 watts next to this as this is set for a comparison. That's interesting. Maybe the maybe the early words is putting out a bit more power than I thought. Hard to gauge really. So what we'll do, um, we know this is definitely a PMR radio. This is half a watt, 100%. Um, so what we'll do um, is we'll set this to low power and we'll see what kind of power output that is doing. I reckon on low power these are about a watt and a half. So that I'm trying to get the watt and a half equivalents UHF uh, to 27 megs. So that's what I'm trying to achieve. Right, so on high power, the uh, UV5R is putting out 3.7 watts into the dummy load. Let's see what difference switching it to low power makes. We're switching it to low power 1.3 watts. So when we do the test, I think this is probably the best radio to test it against because it's the one that's most equivalent in power. We will do a quick test with the PMR radios out of interest, but I think like for like on low power, the UV5R versus the TRC214. Right, it's a beautiful day today. We're having a bit of a uh, late autumn uh, summer here, or sort of early autumn summer anyway. And um, yes, I've got a big box of stuff with me, uh, all the radios. Debbie's. Uh, um, set off to a location which hopefully should be fairly line of sight although I've got some uh, bushes in the way here I might try and attempt to get a little bit more altitude in the field anyway so I've got the um, the T800 with the antenna on the roof here on AM uh, which we can use if we need to and so we've got the uh, the 214 in the box and a handful of little uh, handhelds to test it against so um, we'll wait for Debbie to get into position and then we'll try like to aid with the video a little bit we just thought we'd show you i'll show you debbie's location and then we'll jump back to me in the car or me at my test location so yeah so i'm filming this last but you're seeing it before the end of the video don't get confused easily done right let's show you where debbie and tyler were and gives you just a little bit of an idea of what kind of Sort of range you can get with some of these sets anyway right, i'm really zoomed in now to the right hand side that's the little road that leads up to the slip road where i park and behind that little row of trees there is where i am okay which is three and a half miles so there's those trees are going to represent a significant signal path on uhf um not so much so on the cb but um anyway that's where i am right now and this is where Debbie is right now. 
All right, so Tyler is about three and a half miles away. There's this bit of, um, there's some trees and stuff in the way, but we're gonna give him a try anyway. Okay, Tyler, this is Dad calling you. Uh, I don't know if you can, re can you receive me over? Yeah, I can receive you. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, that's superb, okay. Um, do you want to ask Mummy if she can perhaps do a little bit of video of you maybe while we're doing this? That might be good. Uh, and then if Mummy could try that. Go on then, give me the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Do it now. Okay, well I think these are doing, these are doing quite well really. Um, do I sound okay at your end? Does it sound alright? Okay, I've not adjusted the receive on these. Um, is Mummy doing some video so she can record what I sound like at that end? Yeah. Hi there, Deb. Yeah, you're speaking to the bottom of it, okay? So you like the bottom of like a telephone. And uh, give us the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. <laughs> Pretty good little radios, these Oli Whiz. Super cheap. Um, I think PMR radios. Um, non-detachable aerial um, so we'll see how these work channel 12 all right so we're on the only whiz now and um, I say I think these are probably only half a watt if not it's certainly not even a watt I wouldn't think anyway okay Tyler we're now testing the only whiz radio the only whiz radio which I think is a PMR radio um, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog how are you picking me up by comparison does it sound okay or about the same as the other radio go ahead yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? I thought that, exactly, about the same. Fox jumped over the lazy dog. How are you picking me up by comparison? Does it sound okay or about the same as the other radio? Go ahead. About the same. That's interesting, isn't it? I thought that, exactly, about the same. Okay, uh, do you just want to put um, Mummy... Oh, no, Mummy's filming, isn't she? Okay, just give us a quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog and speak nice and loud and then we'll test the... The little tiny radios, the rest of this radio is on channel 3, okay? The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Yeah, but that sounded about the same as the, uh, as the 214, how strange. Completely different um, modulation technique, completely different frequency, completely different wavelengths and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, we're going to try the rest of this one. Then if you turn this radio off, and then let me know if we can come up on channel 3 of the little tiny radios. Mummy knows how to use them with the orange button on, okay? Okay. But this, uh, we've got the RB615, which is definitely a PMR radio. Okay, Tyler, I don't know if you can hear me now. I'm now using the Retivis RB615 radio. Go ahead. Okay, speak, speak a little louder when you come, come back again. Say again. Again, we're about the same, aren't we, in terms, of, uh, in terms of quality? We're about the same here. What do you think? Do I sound about the same quality your end? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, unusual, eh? These are all quite similar. Okay, then. Give us the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, brilliant. Okay, what we do, the last one then, the last one is the bigger radio, the UV5R, the black radio with the orange button on the front. So if you switch this one off, and we'll try that one, okay? Right, there is definitely a little bit of local interference on PMR channel 12 here, uh, on all the PMR channels, um, but um, I'm sure this will be fine. We're on one and a half watts, remember, on this, set for low power, and um, we shall try the UV5R. Okay, Tyler, right, we've swapped over now to the UV5R. How are you receiving me, over? Yeah, so Debbie's getting the strong interference as well today. Uh, so I'm not sure what that is, but um, we'll, we'll try and get round it. Okay, uh, Tyler, can you hear me? Go ahead. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, yeah, again, this is about the same on low power. 
Um, I won't get you to change it to high power um, because I think it will be obviously a bit better. But um, yeah, there is some local interference which is affecting us. Um, give us the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog so the viewers watching can see the difference. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, yeah, that's clearly got more punch, um, definitely. But even on the low power setting with these radios, um, yeah, definitely. Um, okay, just put Mummy on quickly and we'll just listen to Mummy just quickly so we can get an adult voice, just so we can get a comparison. Just um, if your mum wants to stop filming or you can film, whatever. Okay? Hello. Hi there. Yeah, this, uh, this um, seems a lot better, obviously, on these radios, doesn't it? Uh, that's probably to be expected. What do you think? Yeah, I just uh, I just turned away from the sun. I realised I was been shooting into the sun the whole time. <laughs> Annoying. Anyway, um, oh that's good then. Well, this is the last radio to test. Um, did you make sure you turned off the uh, the big radio, the old radio? Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's brilliant. Thanks for that then. Um, well, we'll leave it there then. I'll um, I'll come back to base. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, thanks for your help. Bye. Well, I think that was a really, really fun little test. Um, I was quite Im impressed, really, with these. I mean, okay, from a practical point of view, with this massive antenna, you know, you wouldn't want to carry the weight. You would want to carry one of these around when really you can carry a UV5R and get much better performance. And then indeed, even the little Retivis RB615 uh, here, uh, which is a PMR radio, was performing at, at least as well anyway on a half a watt. So. Yeah, I think we can safely say that certainly Progress has been very kind to our hobby in terms of uh, walkie-talkies. Um, but that still doesn't stop me loving these uh, old radios just as much. Uh, even though I know I'm not going to use them. They're going to sit on the shelf, probably gathering dust. Um, but uh, I just love them. So, uh, And I'm sure I'm not the only one out there. I'm sure some of you guys have got a great deal of affection uh, for these sets. And I know I've featured strangers, Stranger Things in a lot of these videos. And I, I don't like them for that reason. I like them because I can actually remember seeing these in the Tandy catalogs all those years ago. And just thinking, wouldn't it be great to better own one of those? And now I've got two of these. So, <laughs> so very, very pleased with that test. Um, yeah, I think we'll leave it there for now. What we will do is another test with the original AM radio and these sets. Um, I just tried it with the T800 and didn't work for some reason. So maybe I've got one of the settings slightly amiss in there. I'm not sure. Um, so I think to be fair, to make it AM to AM radios, we'll put the nice shiny chrome radio in the car and we'll give that a go. So with that, I think we'll leave it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed that, and I hope you've enjoyed this sort of series of videos with the 214. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, designing it and making it. Keep an eye on the channel for the new for the new version of the 214 that I'm going to be doing. I might just do a little novelty radio on that one first, just for fun, see how people like that. So um, uh, keep an eye on the channel for that and some more testing. We've got lots planned. So you take care. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers. Ooh.